a sneak peek into some customization coming to Halo Infinite and how you can get it for free, as well as a 343 dev confirms that this leak that we see about a vehicle coming into Halo Infinite might not be true. So do you want to know more? Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. All right, well, set your calendars for this one, guys, because this February 5th, we're going to have a 2v2 pro tournament happening, which you're like, okay, whatever. It's not involving me. So no, not everyone's excited by HGSF. Personally, I am, but this is going to be an Xbox ran 2v2 tournament happening this Saturday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's 2 p.m. Eastern. So what this will be is a 2v2 exhibition show match featuring Cloud9. So... I'm not quite sure exactly what else is going to be playing into this. We've seen members of Cloud9 teaming up with other pro teams as well within the community there and be probably facing off against each other. So it'd be pretty fun to watch for sure if you guys enjoy like some high level competitive Halo. We'll see how seriously they take this. I'll probably be having some fun with it as well. So if they can make this like kind of a fun event kind of thing, kind of like we've seen with like the big team battle bonanza kind of stuff, if they can make it kind of like that, where it's not so serious, but you know, they still try to win. I think that would be a fun thing to watch for sure. The reason why you want to tune in with this is because there's going to be Twitch drops tied to this. Yeah, because HCS Anaheim pool reveal and Twitch drops are going to be enabled when you tune into this event as well. Now, we don't know exactly what kind of Twitch drops are going to be involved with this event. If it's going to be a rehash from the Raleigh event Twitch drops, which did look amazing, don't get me wrong. But we had these pretty awesome looking bits of customization. We had this coding right here, which I rocked for quite a long time. It's actually one of the better codings I think you can actually have right now in Halo of it without dropping some serious bucks. Right here, you have for the Mark 7, Yoroi, and Mark 5. But we also had some weapon codings, which these look pretty awesome as well. I do like to kind of mix up my codings when I'm playing, so I'm not, not looking at the exact same thing every single time. It just kind of like about every week, I like to change things up a bit. So you get to have more customization. This is just for free. All you need to do is link your Xbox account with your Twitch account and you can pick up something awesome, which I believe we have a little bit of an insight what actually might be these drops. This was a leak that was revealed on Reddit kind of showcasing some unreleased HCS items. Now this doesn't confirm that these will be the Twitch drops, uh, though we do see a cool like emblem, a new stance as well, uh, a backdrop, and also we have a weapon coding a, for the assault rifle. We have a coding for the sidekick and a coding for the battle rifle, which is kind of similar in vain to what we've had previously with that free armor coding that we have for all the armor sets when Halo Infinite first launched. So if you want to rock your favorite Pepsi coding, this is the one way to do it. Uh, but we'll see what happens if these are going to be the Twitch drops or unless these are just unreleased items. Again, once we get some concrete information, I'll make sure to share it with you guys on the channel. But this is free customization to give you a chance to, you know, try out some new things. But first, a word from our sponsor, TryTreats.com. There you can explore beyond your borders what tasty snacks other countries are enjoying. Such countries like Russia, France, Croatia, Korea, Australia, South Africa, Canada, Mexico, and so many more. And this time we're exploring the country of Russia. For the motherland! And well, all these treats are written in Russian, so I can't really understand them, but it comes with a nice card right here to tell you exactly what you're eating, because you know me, I'm all about the details. <laughs> He said it! He said it! So if you're looking to broaden your snacky borders, or missing one of your favorite treats from the country you used to live in, TryTreats.com has got you covered. If you're interested, check out the link in the pinned comment down below, guys. And if you're looking to subscribe to one of their boxes, use code KevinCoolX for 15% off your purchase. When you do, it helps support the channel as well. Do not falter! Victory is at hand! If you have any questions, check out their links in the description of this video as well for their socials. And thank you TryTreats.com for your support and let's get right back into the video here. Another thing I want to talk about is the BTB update that we had yesterday. We've had a full 24 hours now to get a chance to play it and see if there's anything wrong. Did anything get broken with this patch update? Because oftentimes when it comes to updating the games that things can be fixed but also new things can be broken at the same time. And well, it works like BTB actually works now. I played it all last night on stream with the community. We we're playing a bunch of games last night and it was a ton of fun. Like it just almost felt like a content drop that happened with BTB that like it's been so long. It felt like a new bit of content being put into the game because <laughs> I only was able to play BTB like that first month back in November. Then once the full game released in December and throughout January and basically beginning part of February, I have not been able to play BTB at all. And it's one of my favorite game modes that I love to play. I play like BTB, Ranked, and like Team Slayer. That's about it, all I really do when it comes to multiplayer for Halo Infinite. 
And so I was missing a huge section of my like favorite part of Halo. And now that it's back, we got a chance to jump in. I played games with the chat and guys, we had a great time. And from what I've seen throughout the community as well, that everything just seems to be working. Like there isn't much if uh, any problems are going on, there aren't any new bugs or any new glitches or anything that at least from what we've seen for the first 24 hours, uh, everyone's just playing BTB and having a great time. So uh, if you guys ever want to catch me on stream again, I do stream every Tuesday and Thursday evening, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, always playing games with the community, jumping you guys and communicating with you guys and playing some games and just having a good time. And now we can do that again in BTB. So if you want to follow the Twitch channel, link is in the description down below. So I don't know if you guys remember this statement right here that was in a previous Halo Infinite blog update before the game release, hinted at a flame vehicle that currently, as we can all tell right now, is not in Halo Infinite and saying that what was their favorite vehicle in the game. They've said, like, yeah, of course, the Warhog. Uh, but they said that we also are working on a new vehicle that is looking pretty hot. This new vehicle will sit nicely between the Warhog and the Scorpion in terms of power level. So it should ignite some new discussions on what vehicle to take into a mission. We got our internal concept, which really lit a fire under the team to get into the flighting. So stay tuned, which obviously we didn't have any kind of flighting when it comes to a fire type vehicle. I mean, like you couldn't be any more heavy handed. This is like a flame type of vehicle, which we've never really had at all, I believe in Halo's history. We've had a flamethrower, but not a vehicle that shoots fire. And well, uh, some astute viewers of this kind of went back and did actually some data mining and saw this. From Alpha Archive, this is the kind of data mining channel from our good buddy over at uh, Game Cheats channel. Kind of puts out some cool things that you know are in the game files that are just not in the game quite yet. Some really well polished things, some unpolished things. This definitely an unpolished thing, but this is a vehicle that you look at and go like, well, it's supposed to be between a tank and a warhog when it comes to power level. Probably a rather beefy vehicle, and this looks like to be a pretty beefy vehicle. This is a Cougar, which was cut content from Halo Wars. Now, it doesn't really look like anything that could shoot fire because this looks definitely more like a heavy round kind of weapon on top of this, kind of like a chain gun kind of thing. Maybe like kind of shoots like a rocket pod, kind of like we have with the rocket hog. This looks to be kind of like a light armor vehicle that's kind of like in between a tank and a warhog that's probably fast mobile, but you know, doesn't hold up as much damage as a tank can do. But it doesn't really look like anything that can, you know, shoot flames or things like that. And well, a 343 dev actually confirmed this on Reddit, saying right here that the guesses are getting warmer, but the cougar wasn't what I was referring to. I haven't seen it data mined yet. So the search continues when it comes to this type of vehicle being showcased within Halo Infinite. This might be something that's completely different that we've never had before in the game. So it might not be able to be data mined, which sounds brand new, which I'm definitely for. And also possibly something that would be more and more part of the campaign, which you add that vehicle into the campaign. I mean, that'd be kind of insane to think about uh, just like going around the, the world of Zeta Halo and just burning things all around you. Like that would be pretty insane. And like if you can actually like burn grass and trees and things like that, that would be pretty cool as well. But again, we just have to wait and see if once we actually do get some concrete information, as I always say on this channel, guys, I will make sure to share it with you all on this channel. But until then, if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.